It has always been on our bucket list to see and experience cherry blossoms in Japan. We are here during the Cherry Blossom Festival and we can't wait to show you all the street food. And today we are checking it off our bucket list from the northernmost prefecture of Honshu, the main island of Japan, here in Aomori. And other than apples guys, Aomori is also known as the snowiest city in Japan. However, we aren't here for the snow guys. We are here for the late blooming sakura that blooms later the farther up north you go. That is why we are here. Aloha, we are Amanda and Felix Eats, a local couple from Hawaii, and we have never seen anything like this. I mean, we could just spend the whole day here. What's going on, Foodie Ohana, and welcome back to our Japan travel series. We are starting off today's video here at Hirosaki Castle for street food and sakura, or cherry blossoms. So let's get going. heading to our train now in order to get to our next destination but guys Japan is filled with these awesome kind of like department stores on the way to train stations I mean that's a brilliant business plan <laughs> in my opinion but it's just so awesome in here there's so much things you can get there's cosmetics there's a lot of food places I'm but so tempted <laughs> yes it's very hard to practice self-control here in Japan. You just want to buy everything, but we're saving ourselves for later. Is it down here? I guess it is downstairs. We are here! Do you see this? We are in the peak of cherry blossoms here at the Hirosaki Castle. It is literally the Hirosaki Castle Cherry Blossom Festival today, this week that we're here and we're super excited to be here. As you can tell, we've been taking so many pictures, so many b-roll and right now it's actually the time where the cherry blossoms are falling so it's so freaking pretty every time a gust of wind just comes it flies down so majestic and so magical ah oh, we're here we didn't even make it halfway in we literally just got in here we're, we're still at the entrance we're <laughs> still at the entrance literally oh. we're like trying to time the photos to get the leaves falling it's amazing it's gorgeous we should have hired a photographer it's yeah. surreal it is. Very interesting backstory. So Hirosaki Castle is one of the last few castles in Japan that was built in the Edo period. So guys, it's very, very historic. A lot of history here. And now it's home to over 2,600 cherry blossom trees. Yes. It is beautiful here. Words cannot describe how amazing this place is. 
I mean, we could just spend the whole day here. And guys, as we mentioned, we're here during the Matsuri and look at all the food! Oh my goodness, I love Matsuri's here in Japan. You can get all this street food! Ohana. We got the goods. We walked through a bunch of the street food stuff and we got a little bench to sit on and it's so beautiful here. The first thing we want to try is the, the kushitori, yakitori. Like I mentioned before, how can you resist protein on a stick? Look at this. They grilled a whole bad boy squid on this thing. Kushi yummy. <laughs> so you got the ika in your hand and I have the pork. I actually got all three but anyway we're trying it together. <laughs> Cheers. Oh man, why is it so tender? Oh man, it tastes so fresh. I love, love, love the seafood in Japan. Mm. The pork is a little hard, a little on the tougher side. It's not the tenderest piece of pork. I love the squid. It's so tender. The extra mayo drizzed on the end. It's perfect. Mm. That's really good. Mm. Squid, a thousand times. Look at the pork. It feels solid. It's so juicy. This oh, is really? the gyutan, guys. You guys don't know what is beef tongue. Mmm. A little on the gamier side. I'm devouring these babies like I've never eaten before. It was so tasty. I wish it was a little more charred, but mm. the flavors are there. I think the best one's the Ika. The Ika is the best. We have so much food, so we gotta get to the next one. So this next spot we went to, this little crabby baby caught my attention. The guy was grilling these bad boys on the charcoal grill. And he was grilling it and mixing the the kani miso with actual like yeah. chunks of crab. Oh. It was smelling so nice and seafoody. How can you resist? Look at this. It's served straight out of the crab. It's crab roll or crab tamale. If you guys are big fans of the crab tamale or the crab innards, this is up your alley. It doesn't look appetizing, but trust me, this and a French baguette is all you need. And guys, they also had something called a kani bowl. I'm not sure what it is, but I saw her having a, a big leg. This is good. It's like crab stick fried, like, thing and then they deep fried it and it looks like this oh my goodness you guys yeah show its length and all its glory i'm not really sure what this is but we're gonna try it out oh yeah mm. this is as seafoody as you can get straight from the ocean taste I feel like this needs like some kind of starch to so soak it all up. This mm. is a deep fried imitation crab. Mmm, it's so good. This is such a great snack. Mm -hmm. Try it. It's seafoody, crabby. Mmm, I it's love like, the crunch. It's like a meaty crab chip. That's what it tastes like. Mm. Or a shrimp chip. Crab not, chip. Yeah. You, know, you guys just love that pungent crab roll flavor. This is everything right here. Served out of the crab shell itself too. I'm gonna try something crazy here at Fudio Hano. I'm gonna put the crab tamale on the crab katsu, cause why not? Oh my goodness. This is gonna be an implosion of crab flavor. If you're feeling crabby, do this combo, trust me. Oh. We gotta go back and get some more. This is really good. I think if I were to come back, I'd definitely get that. Amazing. <laughs> Next up, we got this delicious looking bad boy. It's an okonomiyaki or a Japanese style savory pancake. This one here, it's with yakisoba on the inside. So yakisoba is kind of like their version of fried noodles. Yeah. Mm. And I see some cabbage slaw in here as well as some ginger slivers. This thing looks very saucy and very savory. I love okonomiyaki. Ooh. I can't get it. And it's wrapped in a pancake batter, right? Yeah. Mm. Oh yeah. That sauce is so savory. What it's like a Japanese Worcestershire sauce. The noodles are so chewy. And this thing is hefty guys. Don't let the don't let the size fool you now. Look how much noodles 
is packed in here. It's like two bowls of nong shim worth of noodles in here. Highly recommend if you find yourself ever in Aomori or any place during the sakura season for a festival, highly recommend coming with all the street food, the amazing views, everything. It's just an experience all in itself. <laughs> oh man. there is so much more to see and eat guys, so stay tuned. We even have dessert. Oh yeah. Dessert. Stay tuned for dessert. <laughs> So we went to a dango place. If you don't know what dango is, it's like mochi on a stick, but they also had mochi. And they also had apple pie things, which caught Felix's eye because he loves apple pie, as you guys know. But I'm gonna try this sakura mochi. It's kind of like ohagi style where the rice, the mochi is still kind of like in a rice type of form. What's the leaf on it? I think it's like a sakura leaf. I'm gonna try it. Cheers. Mmm, mm. red bean. Oh, red bean. It's a little bit salty, a little bit sweet. Lots of beans also in there. It's a very typical Japanese snack, which is perfect for today here in the cherry blossom. That leaf though, it gives it a nice like earthy flavor. And we also got this strawberry candy snack. I thought it would be crunchy, so let's try it out. Our friend said it was more chewy than crunchy. It's just so cute! Oh my goodness, it's like dripping. Looks like a baked strawberry. Mm. 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 Is it dehydrated? Mm -mm. It does get stuck in your teeth, but wow. Surprisingly, the sugar doesn't overpower the, the strawberry. It's a fresh strawberry covered with some kind of like sugary candy. It is a bit caramelized and the Candy parts are a bit thick, but if you like strawberries, definitely gotta try this. Don't worry, I saved you one. Since Aomori is known for apples, of course I had to get an apple pastry. Come on now, yo. I feel like for the time being, if we're here in Aomori, I'm gonna get everything apple. Ooh, it's nice and soft. It smells like custard, actually. Oh, it's like an apple um, pound cake almost texture. Oh man, the top is a cream cheese type of flavor baked in our apple chunks. If you guys can see the inside, it's like an apple pie filling shrouded by a pound cake with cream cheese flavoring on the top. Can you ask for any more? This is amazing. I'm not even joking guys, this thing is amazing. My auntie was so nice too. Yeah, so she gave us, she threw in an extra one for free. That's why I didn't have to tamper with the box. Eat one on the side. Mm. Mm, so good. Oh, the wind's blowing all the cherry blossoms down. Pro tip, guys, if you guys come here for the Sakura Festival next year, don't be alarmed if you leave wearing the Sakura. You're probably going to be covered in it. Am I covered in it? Try turn around. Give us a twirl. Uh, no. <laughs> okay, guys. We took our own advice and saw what looked good in the beginning and ate. Look at how much more vendors there are. We turned the corner and this is what was there. Holy Nikes. So we're we eating more or what? A lot more food coming your way. As we were walking around, I saw people eating this. I thought someone was literally eating like their wallet or something on a stick. Or like they just cleaned something with a sponge and it turned black. But I don't know. Got me curious. So let's try it out. Ooh, hot. Ooh. This is steam. It's like cognac. But um, that old den flavor. It's interesting that it's black. It's definitely filling. It's probably healthy too because cognac, like cognac noodles, that flavor. But guys, I saw something next door. I'm gonna get those too. <laughs> Alright, Fudio Han, if you don't know what these are, neither do I, but they look delicious. So it's basically. It's pork wrap. It's pork. It's rice ball on a skewer that's wrapped in pork and flavor. Okay, they had different flavors. I got three because I couldn't decide on one. I got cheese, original, and. Mint spicy cod roll or mentaiko. So I'm gonna try the cheese first. Look look at the beauty of this. You're telling me you wanna get this food, Johanna? 
Mm. Oh man, the sauce on here. Mm. It kind of reminds me of Lap Chang fried rice. I don't know why. That bacon is like caramelized, caramelized bacon. The rice is so soft. So good. Let's try the spicy cod roll. And they give you a generous heaping amount of sauce on this bad boy too. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> the spicy cod roll is definitely the way to go. It adds that nice creamy mayo flavor to the bacon, the slightly sweet soy bacon. I believe it's cottage sauce that they use on it. It's like a teriyaki. Yeah, it's like a teriyaki sauce, but the spicy caro adds another dimension that elevates it entirely. It's a definitely a guilty pleasure. Mmm, so oh good. This one is a mochi mochi potato. I don't know if you guys can hear me, but we got the nori salt flavor. Ooh, look at that nori salt on there. Oh. Mm. Mm. Not soggy fries, you guys. Crispy on the outside. Oh. It's so light too. The inside is so fluffy, the outside is nice and crunchy. Mm. I'm not sure why it's mochi mochi, but definitely flavorful. Mm. We finally arrived at Hirosaki Castle. The site anyway, we have yet to check out the castle, but guys, look behind us. Can you guys see that? Is it on the camera? That, um, that that's thing. Mount Iwaki. Yes, they do call it the Northern Mount Fuji because it does really look like Mount Fuji. <laughs> hey, it looks bigger to me, I don't know. But it is amazing, it's gorgeous. It's and during it's sunset. Snow -capped also. Yes. And there's a gorgeous sunset happening right behind us as well. It's so pretty. So the castle is being rebuilt. We didn't explain to them what happened. <laughs> you have a cherry blossom <laughs> in your mouth. Oh, I can't get it out. I told you guys you're gonna leave wearing the sakura. I'm not. I wasn't joking. But guys, the castle is being renovated. Wall res restoration. They're restoring the stone wall right now, so it's actually under construction. We weren't able to see it this time, but hopefully if you guys do come to Aomori, you guys can see the castle. But we did get to walk around the grounds and learn a lot of stuff about the Tsugaru clan, which is really, really cool. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming along on today's foodie and tour adventure. And as you guys can see, we're still not over the whole cherry blossom thing yet i mean i don't know if we can ever get over it yes day or night it's just very pretty <sighs> I told a man i wanted to camp out here <laughs> probably gonna kick us out anyways guys hope you guys really enjoyed today's episode of street food cherry blossoms the whole works the cherry blossom festival here in aomori hirosaki castle park if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up it'll really help us out and definitely let us know down in the comments if you're liking our travel series here in aomori and japan and 
If you have not already, please hit that subscribe button. It helps us out a lot. Come join our Foodie Ohana and we'll see you guys on the next video. All right, Foodie Ohana, until <laughs> the next one. Make sure you eat those street foods. Check out the cherry blossoms if you can. Peace out. Bye, guys. You know we couldn't just leave without getting some souvenirs and some awesome treats to try. Of course, we had to try some Aomori apple juice. Krilling these bad krilling. Yeah, I'm gonna try something crazy. Hold on. Oh, I don't even get to try. Oh, yeah, try. Mm. <laughs> oh my god. I just ate the whole strawberry. It's like two. It's like two. It's like two. It's like the nipple of the apple. Stop! <laughs> Which is why I literally bought a whole box of this. <laughs> In Hirosaki Castle, in Hirosaki Park, Castle Park? Park Castle? <laughs>